I'm a little bit dusty again because I just spent some time with sanding the plaster that I fixed in my video two weeks ago. I decided that it would be so nice to celebrate midwinter over here in the farmhouse together with Rogier, but also together with my mother. She is going to come over here and she is going to spend the night. <laughs> she is going to spend the night in this room, or at least this is the plan. Right now, this is a little bit of an issue because absolutely nothing is finished in here. <laughs> I decided that right now I want to start with fixing the gaping hole in the ceiling. It is kind of important <laughs> to have this closed off. That's why I have all of these things over here. Besides fixing the hole in the ceiling, I definitely want to finish the little school desk. I need to do a lot of work on the plaster. I'm very hopeful that I can also paint all of the plaster. I'm not sure if I can do this. I don't know, there are just a lot of things that I need to do. <laughs> we also need to fix the lighting, the lighting in this room. We need to turn this oil lamp into an electrical lamp. And we need to hang the more industrial looking light from the beam. Let's get started. Let's put you away for now before I break you. Over here, I have the board that came out. This was something that Rogier put in. I do not like it. I want to change it for these. These are the floorboards that we kept when we removed the lowered ceiling that we had in this room before. The first plan that I had was to paint these white, but right now I think I just want to get everything in. I want to see how it looks. If it looks fine, I'm not going to paint it. If it doesn't look fine, if it doesn't look fine, I'm going to paint everything white. It is just going to look a little bit more rustic and a little bit more farmhouse fitting. Right now I'm going to cut all of these boards roughly to shape. I'm going to glue all of these boards together. I'm going to let it dry. After that, I'm going to create this shape. I need to make a few adjustments because this was not the best fitting piece of wood. There were some gaps everywhere. Over here, it needs to be a little bit more rounded. Over here on this side, it was a little bit too long. So we had a big gap over here between the beams and this board. But I can do all of these adjustments and I can cut all of this to size when all of this is glued and dried. I dare you dig a little deeper. It makes you feel a little stronger. What you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh You wait at your whole life Your days turn into nights Now let the river flow Deep into the ocean All the time you go You are moving My next project is actually cleaning up the line between the blue paint and the plaster. And then we have this. The whole situation that I just created is exactly where I need to be. Very, very smart. Please tell me that I can move this. Oh! <laughs> I made it very heavy for a reason. <laughs>
Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Good morning. Believe it or not, I am actually ready to start painting. <laughs> it is the third day already. Yesterday I did not film a whole lot. I woke up in the morning. I was thinking about the plaster. Sanding all of the plaster. And the only thing I felt was despair. <laughs> so I decided the best thing to do was just to finish all of it. Yesterday I've spent the entire day sanding. <laughs> It was bad. It was very, very bad. The only thing I have to say about it is... I am going to finish it. I hate you. I hate you. I hate it. I'm not looking forward to the paint job. But I'm looking forward to having all of these things finished. I am making progress and it feels very nice. Normally when you plaster a wall, there are a number of steps that you need to take to make the plaster look nice and smooth. And all of those steps to take, you take when the plaster is still drying. None of this happened <laughs> in this space when the plastering was done. I think Rogier had two days to get all of the plaster up. He told me it is looking rough. And I told him, it's fine, just make sure that it is up there and we will fix it. We will fix it later. Do I regret saying that? Yes, definitely. We are never ever going to do it like this. Ever again. <laughs> but we are here now. Everything is looking beautiful. I am going to paint for the entire day probably. And I'm going to be so happy when all of this is finished. I have all sorts of brushes, big ones, small ones, tiny little ones for all of the very nasty little corners. Oh, it is so nice. It is so nice. It is so nice to be squeezed up here again. Here we go. downstairs so that's nice I'm not really thinking much while I'm doing this I'm just painting 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 some more very slow going but it is starting to look very beautiful what is one of the most important things if you want a very cozy farmhouse bedroom, of course, light. Rogier is going to turn this oil lamp into an electrical light and we are going to hang this industrial looking light. What are you going to do? Trying to get this thing out. Okay. Hats flats. Hats flats. And then the cable needs to go in it and it needs to come out somewhere. We have beautiful old fashioned looking cable. It is not old, it is new, but it looks very beautiful. Are you going to heat it up to see if you can? Yes, it's soldered. Oh. You need my help? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to live the dangerous life. 
Just to press the thing. Yeah. And hold it here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Is she loose? You have it? Yeah. <gasps> Look. How beautiful. Oh, wow. It's in the way. Hmm? This is in the way now. This is in the way. Yeah, it doesn't come off. But are we going to put it back? Because I love this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, there it is. This is actually a lamp that you can hang because it has a little opening on the back. Do you see this? Dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Your days turn into night <laughs> Hi, first we have to do Christmas, then we can do New Year's fireworks. <laughs> oh, I need to clean this, it is so dirty. When it is cleaned, it is going to look even more beautiful. But I like it, I love it, I love it! Next one! Why are there two openings in this lamp? Is it supposed to have two wires? Just going in like that? No, this is a um, typical uh, lamp for in a barn. And then with one wire it's coming in. Oh, and the other one is going to the next one. Yeah. They just have a whole row of lamps. Connected yeah. together. Yes. I see. Woo! Yes. I thought that we were going to drill a hole through this beam. But you do not want to do this? No. Nope. So then we are going to put the wire behind the beam, I guess. Yeah. I love this lamp. And and it's a head bumper. But who is going to stand over here in the corner? Well, if you're going to into the closets. Uh, oh. Yeah, I just like it underneath that beam. Can you put it back on the, hi on the higher beam? For a second, so let me see. Okay, let's hang it on the higher beam. Because you are right, it is nice to be able to walk underneath it. Mm. Look how beautiful the ceiling looks. Oh. 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 We still have a gaping hole in the ceiling though. Maybe even a little bit higher than this. Oh, 
Mm. I always need to see things from a distance. I think this is fine. We can always keep a little bit of this attached for now. So we can adjust it. Live with it for a little bit. Now you do see the gray cable coming out of the wall, but I think if I do a little bit of magic over there, you are not going to notice it anymore. We are just going to connect it for now. We are going to put a temporary switch over there tomorrow. Kill the lights. Huh? Oh yeah. Turn off the filming lights. Oh. We do need a different light bulb. A light bulb that has a little bit more of a warm color, I think. Yeah. And then it's well, amazing. It's, it's not bad. I love it. It also needs a clean. Everything needs a clean, but that's fine. Mystery art box number two over here. And Rogier, pull your pants up. I will. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> How high do you want to have it? Uh, not that high. <laughs> well, do you want to show me the first painting in the mystery box? Yes. Let's see. Again, this is not the box that I am most excited about. I'm going to save the box that I am the most excited about for last. Oh, wow. Is it beautiful? Oh, it's a very snowy winter landscape with a little house. I don't know if you can see this, but there are also two little people. I think it is very beautiful, beautiful colors. Love it. Yeah. Oh, oh ugly. Yeah, well, first of all, I think it is very dirty. It needs to be cleaned. That's why it is so yellow. But actually, it's very beautiful painting. It is very beautifully painted. I do think that it is a good painting. And if it is clean, it will probably look a lot more bright and vibrant. But not my style. Is it your style? No, not really. No. Oh. <gasps> oh, how lovely. You like this? Yeah. I like it too. Nice. For a farmhouse, it's very nice. It's very cozy. I always like cows. <laughs> Maybe I should make um, a wall also from all this kind of farmly paintings. Farmhousey paintings. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should. Okay. Well. So far, the second box is more interesting than the first box. Don't you think? I think so. Ready? <laughs> oh, well, her face is a little bit, a little bit strange. Oh, she's just well fed. <laughs> it's an interesting, an interesting painting, I think. Yes. Very simple. I do like it. It's f it's very it's peaceful. very it's yeah. It is very peaceful. Not really for me. Again, not a fan of the frame. But it's not bad. It's not something that I would hang on my wall, would you? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I have to get acquainted with it. Okay. You have to do a little bit of bonding with yeah. this one. Oh, a lot of farm farmhouse art. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, little sheep. Beautiful landscape. Very nice. Very old little farm. Beautiful. More trees. Hmm. I'm not the biggest fan. No. Well. 
very Dutch. Noordwijk. Little, is it Noordwijk? Yeah. A place in the Netherlands. 1902. Lito. Hmm. No, this is a note for me. I like the colors. Again, it is very peaceful. Not a big fan of the frame, but I think it is actually quite pretty. Okay, this is a little bit depressing, yeah. I think. It's very dark, very moody. The frame is kind of nice though. The shape is very interesting, very long and narrow. <laughs> hmm. Well, the tree is very beautiful painted. Yes, it is. It is a little bit of a shame that the house only has, well, a lot of brown beams yeah. and not, not much else. Maybe it's a, it's a little bit of a block. Not everything is everything is very detailed and then you have this brown block in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of a shame. It's not bad though. And the frame is also kind of kind of pretty. Where are we going to Let's put it over here? I might even like this. I do not like the frame. What are you doing? Take it out. It's painted on wood. I think I quite like this. I don't know why though. The frame is not of any interest to me. No. So Ta-da! Ta-da! Well, it's very romantic. A castle. <laughs> it's very hard to see, I think. And some very tiny little people. You like romantic things. Is this something that you like? Maybe for the, for the toilet of curiosities? Yeah, maybe. Oh, cold. Oh, but it is pretty though. I think I love peaceful art. Maybe because my mind is so busy. I also really like this frame. I really like this. How about you? Yeah, I like it also. So is this going to be another coin that we need to flip? Yeah. Hmm. Damn. What do you think this is? Uh, another farmhouse painting. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I like this one. Mm -hmm. I it's like canvas. it. canvas. Yes. I do not think that you are supposed to glue canvas to wood. But I like it. I like the little green door. Little green, little green shutters. There are also chickens. Do you see that? Tiny little chickens. I think it is very cute. Yeah. Okay. A very strong farmhouse theme that we have going on over here. From 1946. A very Dutch one. Okay. Hmm. Very, it is, it is very, very small. I always have a huge amount of respect for people that can paint tiny little things like this. What do you think of this painting? Moi. Moi. For me the same. It's a moi. If you combine something like this with all kinds of other things, it is totally different than just seeing something like this on its own. So it depends a little bit on how, what, where. It looks like it is a little bit too much stretched out. It looks like it needs to go a little bit more upwards. Also the vase. I don't know. I kind of like it. But then again, I kind of don't. Uh, I don't know. Is it another farmhouse? Yes, it is. This time we have a little boat. How much is there still left? Now we have the mystery box. The mystery? There is a box in the box? Oh, it's not a box, it's a folder. Oh! <laughs> well, 
it's amazing. Probably. Yeah. It belongs to this. I think so. Drawing. Another one. Oh, we have this one, exactly the same one, but in color. We had it in the last box. Or at least the same dome, church, whatever it is. I think it's a little different. Well, but I don't think it's the same building. Hmm. Hay, a lot of hay. Oh, it needs to go around the fish. <laughs> well, a lot of people like things like this, I think. I also think, oh my, I don't know what is happening to me today, but I actually think for me this is a maybe. Am I turning into a crazy person? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's a maybe. I don't know. I think I have to do a little bit more soul searching when it comes to the art in this box. Oh, oh, I want to see that one. I want to have it. I want to have it right, right now. Oh, <laughs> this is just, I don't know what this is. I love it. It is so vintage. It looks a little bit like the 40s war time. I'm not sure if I would hang this on my wall though. Mm. Look how cute. Oh, you think it's cute? Yeah. It is cute actually. Chickens, just some shelves, maybe kitchen shelves. Oil, pepper, salt, Yeah. cups, butter, dish. Hmm. Dreary. Uh, no. It has a plane flying over here. Depressing. Yeah. Even more depressing. It looks like a jail with a guillotine here. Maybe it is, because this definitely looks like something that you would hang people from. I think you are right. This is the longest drawing I have ever seen. Let's start at the beginning. Ooh, and go all the way over there. This is really nice. Oh, it is. <coughs> A windmill. I do like windmills. Okay. The only thing I like about this is the passepartout. Okay. <laughs> Another very beautiful passepartout. <laughs> what is he doing? He is riding a bike, I think. It is so detailed that you actually do not really see the details anymore. <laughs> I don't really understand why there is something hanging on the wall with an egg painted on it. He's looking at this egg. No, but the egg see. is painted on a piece of fabric and it is hanging on the wall. It's very interesting. Okay, that was it. That was it? Yep. The box is empty, let me see. Doodly doodly do. Yep, it's empty. So I guess we are going to have some conversations. Conversations about those two paintings. And I'm going to do a little bit of thinking about all of the things that I have over here. Okay, so for me, these are some things that I'm having doubts about. Even this one, I don't know why, because I jumped when I saw it, but now I'm having doubts. But over here, strangely enough, I have a little arrangement of something that I actually love. <laughs> it has fish in it. I just don't know if you can see this, but if you look at the combination of the colors all together in some very strange way, I really love this. It all has a little bit of blue in it, but very subtle. I don't know. And I think it is nice to have something in between all kinds of other things that is just totally random and totally different. I do not have any fish yet. So I think for me, this is something that I feel very excited about. And I am actually surprised about it. 